There's no point in waiting any longer. Frank and I are together. We plan on staying together. It's working for us, despite your predictions. Well, for as long as that lasts, I'm happy for you, Jillian. Well, what about you? Are you happy? There's a lot that's good in my life, yes. Well, clearly you don't have any romantic interest towards me. No, no, I got over that some time ago. Then what are you holding on to? Look, uh, I'm really not prepared to go into this tonight. Why? It's not complicated. Let's discuss it tomorrow in the office, all right? No, I am here now. I want an answer now. Nothing is going to change tomorrow. Frank and I are together. We live together. We work together. We have survived the worst kind of publicity. We've survived our own egos knocking against each other at the office. So far. We are happy together. The only thing that's missing is marriage, legal marriage in the church. That's important to our families. We want little John with us. Maybe in time, another baby. Jillian, I'm very tired. I am tired, too. I'm tired of begging you, Seneca. I mean, what's in this for you? I mean, don't you want your freedom, too? I know you. I know you like women. And you're a damned attractive man. You know, if I thought that there was somebody else involved, my guess would be that you don't want to divorce me because you don't want to get hooked again. But then I think, oh, no, that's not his style. Well, thank you. I'm glad you still have some I know the kind of man that you are. I know how you feel about a family and home. I know you always said a career wasn't enough. I couldn't agree with you more. Now look, I really don't want to go into this I now. know that you want children, too. I can't believe in all this time you haven't found somebody that appeals to you. Jillian, my romantic life is not relevant. And even if it were, I wouldn't want to go into it now. If not now, when? Tomorrow. Come in around 10 o'clock. No, no, you'll just squeeze me in between patients and interns and all of that. I want an answer now. I'll come tomorrow, you'll say, say next week. You're just delaying tactics. No, no, no. You come tomorrow, I will make time, we'll talk. We have already talked. We have said all there is to say. Months have passed by and you still haven't given me an answer. And I still have the same reservations I always had about Frank Ryan. And who are you to make that choice? I still care about you. Don't care. Don't care about me. I am not a child. I don't need for you to tell me what's good for me. I never did. That's where it all went wrong. That's what I couldn't stand. This is exactly the kind of scene that I hope to avoid. You can avoid this and all other scenes. Just say yes to the divorce. Not now. I'll call you tomorrow. Why are you stalling? Why? I'm going to win eventually. Frank and I are together. It's working. We prove that every day. That's what you can't stand. That's why you're being cruel, because you know that you're wrong and you can't admit it. I'd appreciate it if you'd leave now, Jillian. Certainly. One more thing, Seneca. You are just as cruel and vindictive as you ever were. Good night. No, don't. I'll open my own door. Thank you. Oh, hi. Well, take note. You kept me waiting for a change. I was here earlier. Oh, Come sorry. on, before I have a tantrum right on the spot. What? I just had the worst discussion with, with Seneca. Uh -huh. He, uh, about the divorce. I asked him again for the divorce. I gather he said no. He said nothing. He categorically refused to discuss it with me. He practically threw me out of the apartment. Oh, and it's pretty clear he hasn't changed his mind. Nothing is clear. Oh, I don't know. Raj came here earlier. He said that he thought Seneca might be involved with somebody. Maybe it was a good time to hit him for a divorce. What did you say? Did you put that to him? No, of course not. I just went there. I suppose I should have called him first, but I was kind and gentle and direct. I said we were together. A lot of time had passed. Maybe he'd want his freedom by now, too. And he said? He as much as said, take two aspirin and call him in the morning. He wouldn't talk about it at all? He was tired. He needed time to think about it. Yeah, he said to, to come to his office tomorrow so he could laugh in my face again. The worst part of it is I, um, I lost my temper. You yelled. Well, I, I wasn't polite. Well, what did he do? Frank, he wanted me out of there. You know, I wonder about that. What? What? Well, you didn't happen to look in his bedroom, did you? Oh, what a dope! 
Oh, of course. That's it. She must have been listening. That's my bet, yeah. No, no, you're right. I know you're right because he never said no. He said not now. Oh, I love it. I love it. Now, wait a minute. I gotta think about what I said. Something helpful. Something to pin him down. Well, if he's telling her that his wife won't give him up, he's sunk, right? No, no, no. He wouldn't do that. I mean, he's obnoxious, but he's decent. But not apparently above reproach. Which he would have to be to keep us legally married. Mm -hmm. Frank, I can sue him. Mm -hmm. I'll do it. No, well, maybe a threat will be enough. <sighs> to threaten him, I need proof. Then we'll get it. How? I don't like the idea of sneaking around, spying. Well, why don't you think of it as for his own good anyway? You don't have to sneak around and spy. We can hire somebody to do that. A detective? Mm-hmm. No, I don't like those kind of games. Well, neither do I, but ask yourself. If Seneca wanted to get married as badly as we do, and if the situation were reversed, hmm. Would he play that kind of game? Mm-hmm. You know, I know the name of the best detective around. Mm. I think I'll give him a call in the morning. Mm.